Hey guys, this is Diaphone. Welcome to a Eustis tutorial. So I think the first misconception that people have about Eustis is that he's a zoner character. You know, he has, a, he has specials like that. He has specials that are projectile. They go full screen. So people might think that he's typically a zoner, but he doesn't really have ways to change up his zoning and his zoning specials are kind of laggy, right? Like even something like this that pierces projectiles, it takes a lot of time to come out. He can be jumped on pretty easily. So I would not classify him as a zoner. I would actually call him a counter zone who actually just really wants to rush down. He has really good specials for giving you plus frames and good specials for mixing you up. The other thing I would say is that he's also a technical character. Both these, pro this projectile and this projectile are charge moves, right? And you could say, well, this game has easy inputs. Let me just do those. Well, if you're trying to outzone someone or if you're trying to get in, the penalty for doing easy input is pretty significant with him. You can't really projectile spam, but if you charge partition properly, you can projectile spam. And so there's a lot of those kind of tricks that you do need to be a little technical with the charge and the amount of like different variations he has in his specials makes him pretty technical. His really good specials to for in neutral forces way in i mean if people are camping out you can just do this it'll pierce through any projectile other than other pierce types he also has this slide move which goes really far and you get a knockdown and then you can get oki off that knockdown it's really good as well his offense is just crazy that's where he really shines he has this close counter move where you have five different follow-ups and you know this is like plus and it has some invincibility there's this charge you're super plus after that you're plus after this you're plus after this you're plus after that <laughs> he has a lot of plus frames right so his offense is pretty cracked out actually i think some of his cons he has terrible defense he literally has does not have an invincible reversal outside of uh you know super his anti is poor i mean the issue is he doesn't really have a far anti -air. everything pretty much loses to uh like a jump in normal from far so you can't like you can't anti -air stand heavy you can't anti -air 5h you're just gonna get hit out right so he can pretty much only anti -air right above him and he doesn't really have any specials even like this special looks like it'd be good for uh beating air approaches but it's actually not that good you kind of have to do it preemptively you can't do it in reaction and i think his neutral is just kind of risky right like some of these moves that are really strong like dash low it is punishable on block this can be jumped this can be jumped right so you do have to take some calculated risk with them as well so let's talk about his normals right i mean it's 5l 2l pretty standard the cool thing about his 2l is you can chain three together um not a lot of characters can do that and still link into something like that is 5m 2m is 5m goes a little further but it's a lot laggier so if you're gonna buffer something in neutral my record like to stop a dash in my recommendation is just do like a 2m into 214m like this uh, it's really potent, really good. Pretty much at any range it'll work. 5H is really good. His basically his furthest reaching normal when you include that little explosion at the end. All you do is press H afterwards. There's also OS you can do where you can actually cancel the first hit like that. Or if on uh, on whiff this comes out, right? So same inputs and you cancel the special. Yeah, so you're basically double tapping H and then doing chorus circle back M. And then based on that, you'll get the two different scenarios. The other th cool thing is 2U is this longest reaching cancelable normal. So that does reach, but at this range, you can actually get something like this. Ah, uh, it's really good, but you do have to be careful, it is a little laggy on whiff. And then all his jump normals have uses. His uh, jump L's kind of your cross up. So that crosses up. His JM's, think of it as your air to air. If you're jumping at like this range, you'll want to do a JM. His JH is your go to like air to ground normal. And uh, his JU, it's a little weird. You can use it to bait anti airs, but it's not that consistent. So, like, you can sort of bait out, but it's really finicky based on when they press their 2H. <laughs> it's not that great, honestly. I would, I would kind of stick away from that. You can also throw out a neutral like that, just kind of throw them off. But it's not the best JU in the game, let's put it that way. Um, he has a 5U as well. It's pretty interesting. It has two stages. You do 5U, or you can do 5UU. That is a follow-up. That follow-up can be held, so that's immediate. Or it can be held. Combos on counter hit like that. The other cool thing is you get in the corner like that, that combos. 
and you can get pretty decent damage off that but other than that like i would only really use it in the corner because you get that extra damage mid screen you don't really get much you know you get 1500 the oki's not the best the only other time i do it is you can do it like if you have no cooldowns available you can combo this just to get some extra damage again the oki's not the best you don't really want end of that the other thing is you can't throw out a neutral it goes does go pretty far right it goes five in your five hh so it is pretty good to throw on neutral, it's just really risky, right? And if you want to know more about his normals, I recommend checking out Dust Loop. They have all the frame data and whatnot. But general things you need to know frame data is 5L is uh, 5 frames, which is obviously a plus. This is actually 7 frames, so it's really good to punish things like Normize the X Slash. And uh, yeah, his H normals, his sweep are pretty laggy. Um, so let's talk about specials. The specials are where he really shines, right? His normal kit's not the best if you ask me, but his specials are really good. So the 4-6 special, it's pretty good. Goes full screen. Um, this pierces and it also knocks down. I don't know why you would use the L version of the chargeable projectile. It's a little better recovery, but you see how the M version knocks down. I recommend you always use that. In neutral, you know, you want to mix up the L and M projectile. H is good just to throw out. Um, it'll beat some other one hit projectiles as well. Um, the EX charge, the main reason you would use this is in corner combos. So you can get a combo like that. Um, that, that's typically how his optimal routes work. The other thing you can do is in neutral. If they're like spot dodging your uh, shot, if you're doing like, they're doing something like this. Which his stuff is really easy to spot dodge. Again, why you don't want to be zoning with them. You can just hold the EX version and you might catch them trying to spot dodge. So that's another version. It's a hard knockdown, so you get to run in, get some uh, additional pressure. His 2-8 special, it's more of like a block screen tool or just to control the this range in neutral right here. Um, it's less committal, kind of loses the jump, but um, it doesn't, you're not really sticking out a button. What you really want to do though, is land the charge ball. Because if you land this, you are super plus. At certain ranges, you can actually just get a combo from it. That's how plus you are. Yeah, see, that combos too. The EX version is sort of like your panic button. It's pretty fast. You get a hard knockdown. So if they're trying to like play footsies in this range and you don't have the best normal or they're just like running at you and you want to cover the ground and the air, just do EX. <laughs> this is like literally your panic button. It does take a while to come back, especially if you don't do easy input. So you don't always want to throw it out. Think of a mid screen panic button. It also in the corner at certain ranges, let's say like right here, it combos and you can get a launch after it. So something like this. It is very spacing specific, but it, think of that as your extra launcher besides the X grenade. Grenades have plus frames. So this grenade is a pretty cool tool. It actually looks very strong. His M grenade kind of controls neutral, but it does take a while to come out. So again, if you're jumping a lot, you don't want to be throwing M grenade. The grenade has a gap in between. So a lot of people try to just jump out or poke you, but you have pretty good answers to that. But generally M grenade is really good for controlling neutral. Light grenade is good meaty. Like if you do a sweep and then light grenade that hits super meaty and you can get a combo off that. Something like that works really well. The other setup you can do with a uh, light grenade is something like this. And that also hits me, right? Um, but other than that, you don't really want to be throwing out a neutral or block string because it's kind of laggy. And something like even here, see, you're actually minus after that. So you don't really want to just be throwing out block strings. And generally something like this, you want to do the charge shot anyways, you're more plus and you get a combo one hit. It's uh, generally doing charge shot pressure is a lot better than like grenade pressure. The EX grenade though, that is what you really want to use. So the cool thing about that string is the EX grenade, when it comes out, it has a hurt box. It attaches to them. And so any of the specials that fire something will explode the grenade. This also includes stuff like his throw and his universal overhead. So a really common strategy is you do something like that. That explodes the grenade, lets you get a combo off of it, and you just get a crap ton of damage, right? The other cool thing is that you can frame trap with it. So if they are mashing, like let's say after something like this, they'll get counter hit. And you can get a combo from this counter hit. 
and to big damage it's really good so this is kind of one of the tools you kind of always want to use when you have especially like when it comes off cooldown just try to cycle into your pressure the most common strategy to beat this is either dp it or dodge it on reaction and it is possible probably offline um maybe online ps4 you're not gonna really be able to do it but just be careful if they do dodge on reaction generally they are gonna be minus if they're just spamming spot dodge then generally they're gonna be plus the goal is to get them to block that ex grenade and then mix them up between universal overhead or throw and then you just get big boy damage compass off of them right his last special and probably the special that uh takes the most explanation is this command dash versatile special has follow-ups the late version no follow-up comes out it goes pretty far right goes about that distance the m version has a little slash at the end and then the h version is just a quicker slash and the follow-ups get a little bit enhanced right so there's five follow-ups the late follow-up does this little ball you're minus on block but where you want to use this is the frame trap so if they are trying to press buttons after do something like that the other cool thing is if they block it on crouching counter hit you get a combo Crouch light, crouch medium into whatever you want, right? His medium version, this is the uh, the low. So again, you don't really want to be doing this on a block string because it's punishable, but this where this really shines is a neutral. Just kind of doing a dashboard low. The heavy version says DP, think of that as your combo enter. His U version is this, which is plus on block and it actually avoids a lot of punishes. So let's say I am uh, trying to punish or try to interrupt like a uh, throw or something. See, it can actually catch my whiff normal. It looks like you should be able to hit him out, but it does have some invul, and that doesn't quite work out. And then the other follow-up is just you press guard. And when you press guard, it cancels his dash. You can cancel any of the versions. Um, on the H version, you have to be really quick. Really, really quick. <laughs> this works, yeah. So it's usually good from like, buffer them to normal like that just try to catch them off guard with a throw the follow-ups can also be delayed so just keep in mind like you can do the u version immediately or you can do delayed you see how much more delayed that was not one defensive option will beat all these follow-ups you should be aware of the most common defensive options against this which are just blocking which is probably the best defensive option to be honest um you can also do a delayed button which beats most follow-ups or you can dodge you might be saying why dodge well even though this special is plus on block it actually loses to dodge but yeah you see how that was a proper punish so it can be punished. Um, the other way that can be punished is just jumping too. But I think this is kind of risky and you can't do it on reaction. So I think dodge is the better way to beat that. His supers, they're pretty standard. His SBA is pretty good because it goes through projectiles and actually has a lot of projectile invincibility and you can react pretty late. So let me show you. See how late I reacted? And that was still a punch. <laughs> So it's really good anti-projectile. Um, this SSBA is actually also anti-projectile, funny enough. Oh yeah, that doesn't punish. Some people, if they're standing, they will punish, but I guess it doesn't punish uh, Eustace. But it does punish some projectiles. It also works as an anti-air, but like, it's only blockable, like, at the base of it. Like, that works. But I don't think this will work, for example. Yeah, so you gotta be a little careful with it. Um, but it, it can't work as anti-air. Combo-wise, there's not too many you need to know. There, there's so many with this character, but just to simplify it, I kind of left it up to a few combos. His anti-air conversions aren't too bad, actually. My recommendation is just do 2x in the EX ball. And to 5H and to 214HH miscreen or 214MH uh, in the corner. If it is counter hit, you can confirm it. You can confirm it and get a full combo. And it does a little more damage that way. And it's also easier. You can also do this where you do 2H and the 214L. Uh, but again, generally you want to do the EX ball when you have it. Mid screen, this combos are kind of boring. I'm not going to lie, guys. You just do anything in the 214MM. There is a mid-screen crouch combo you can do. Oh, 
And it's really good, you get 3k and you literally just push them to the corner, right? But that only works on mid screen crouch auto combo. Generally, 90% of the hits you're gonna get go into 214 mm. In the corner, there's a lot of different variations, but basically, it's something in the EX grenade. And if they're crouching, you do 2m, explode with m shot. Then you follow up into the charge heavy. You can also replace that with uh, the charge uh, two eight heavy or the EX ball special. <laughs> and then you just follow up with uh, close combat, the, the command dash. The other thing is that, like I was saying earlier, the EX ball can launch. So you can get something like this. And that works too. Um, but other than that, that is generally what your corner confirms look like. If they are standing auto combo, by the way, you do not get much, unfortunately. You can get something like this. <laughs> it's kind of whack, but that's just kind of how the character works. Um, because, again, if they are standing, you can't combo into EX off their auto combo. You can get something like this, and then you can kind of get the same thing going on. So that also works too. There is a YouTube link in the in the PowerPoint slides. The PowerPoint slides in the description below if you want to see more combos. So what, let's talk about strategy, right? So your goal is to basically use the neutral tools to get in and rush down. Um, some matchups you approach, some they will or both, right? So Lucis is not the character that can always approach or does not have to always approach. He's not the character that can always just wait for the opponent to come to him. You know, a character like Fairy, you have to eventually approach, right? Because her long range tools are better than yours. Um, so if you want to approach, it's basically a mixture of the uh, 214LM, the 214L, the command dash, and you can do like um, something into that. You can just do, you can just throw this out neutral, it's pretty good. Or you can do 214L, guard, throw them. Um, there's definitely options there. This is good, like if you're just trying to approach and they're throwing fireballs, you just want to shoot that out at them. The other thing is, yeah, the heavy version, just to charge and get them to spot dodge or something on reaction and then you run in. When you're defending, when I'm by defending, I mean like if they're approaching you, just buffer some 2Ms. EX ball is kind of your panic button. Again, just throwing projectiles like this is always good just to catch a with normal or a dash in. And 5HH, always good to throw out like that, just to control that space in front of you. And if they're playing patient, if they're just kind of hanging back in this neutral range, like right around here, yeah, throw a 63M, rush in and uh, get some additional pressure. Same thing with this. Very good just to uh, start your turn. So your goal is to get them to play patient. Um, you know, use your defending options to keep them in place. Then use stuff like two, the held ball and then the medium grenade to, you know, get in and start your offense. So let's talk about offense. If they're mashy, generally you always want to check them with meaty two L's. Anytime they're starting to mash the middle of your block strings, you just do two M and do two one four M L. And that'll frame trap them too. Or you can do the U version, right? That also works pretty well on mash. Most normals, like a heavy normal auto combo into his 623H will frame trap. And then the 2A version, um, if you just do the immediate, like something like this will catch a mash as well. If they're being patient, so the goal is you want them to be patient because once they're patient, you can do stuff like uh, 214 and the throw that's really strong it's really hard to see um, you can actually just do a medium grenade on block like that but really you want to set this up because that's probably your most powerful special and doesn't use a cooldown and it's probably the hardest to interrupt too the really the only thing it can do is especially if you have it spaced right they can just jump um it's kind of hard to deal with or they can spot dodge but generally you're gonna be plus on that spot dodge and the other thing people will do is they'll just like spam dodge because it beats ex grenade but there's so many things that you can do to beat it. You can just dash up and throw them. You can just do 214M and then wait, and then you get a full combo with whatever you want. Auto combo 5U all will also beat that too. And then you get a big, big combo, something like that, right? But yeah, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions, stop by my Twitch, drop them down in the comments below. If you have any additional useless tips, drop them in the comments below too. Um, if you want to support my guides um, and you want to support me trying to share Grand Blue versus knowledge or strive knowledge or any upcoming fighting games, please consider subscribing to the channel. Definitely supports me and uh, yeah, it lets me know that this content's valuable. So I appreciate it and let me know um, if there's anything else you guys want to see in the comments below. Take care. Uh, I need to do a different outro like that. Yeah? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> my wife just said she'd do an outro for me and then she's like no i'm not actually gonna do it on stream
Thank you, babe. I know what to say. I just don't say it. That's the issue.